over the world, women scientists are playing critical roles in developing innovative solutions to address new aid challenges and achieve the sustainable development goals. Yet, they have traditionally been underrepresented in the practice of science, leading to a lack of diversity in creative thinking and scientific knowledge. In the Indian context, despite accounting for nearly 50% of the population, women are underrepresented in higher education and largely excluded from the scientific workforce. A UNESCO publication entitled A Braided River explores in detail the universe of Indian women in science. It examines barriers and challenges for women in science and provides actionable recommendations to promote and retain women in science education and careers. The publication showcases the fact that much of India's success in science, technology, engineering and mathematics at the global level can be attributed to the passion and talent of its women scientists. But there is a long way to go for ensuring equitable opportunities and creating an enabling milieu. So many capable women rarely have the access to opportunities or support that they need to pursue a career in the sciences because of social, cultural, economic and other structural reasons. Uh, this book draws attention to these barriers along with the efforts that have already been made for Indian women in science. The expression braided river is meant to symbolize the life and career of women scientists in India. While the professional development of women scientists is often described in a linear format, it is in fact far from reality. Much like a so-called braided river, best exemplified by the Brahmaputra, a woman scientist must face and overcome many obstacles and must adapt to twists and turns. In addition to insightful research and findings, the book features captivating photographic portraits of Indian women scientists and provides suggestions to enhance their participation in science research and industry. With a range of suggestions and recommendations, we hope to further enhance Indian women's participation in science and inspire other nations to mainstream gender equality in science and society. Among the many suggestions of the report, UNESCO proposes to strengthen training initiatives for young and underprivileged women and to promote mentorships for their career progression in science. Our aim, our motto, our raison d'etre is to give every child the ah, aha, ha-ha feeling when they do science. To support and enhance opportunities in science education and professions, UNESCO also proposes that the links between academia and the private sector be reinforced. Several of my colleagues who work in uh, engineering, they develop products which, which are translatable and they need industry partnership to take it to society. The question should be extended further to say, how can uh, industry chip into academia so that the basic science, which is the fodder for new ideas, can continue to happen. In order to encourage women in their pursuit of scientific careers, UNESCO points out that it is important to design and implement gender-inclusive policies at both the state and national level. I think we need to institutionalize gender uh, diversity policies uh, of course, at the national level, where the government plays a very important role, but at the institution level, and every stakeholder plays an important role in it. Among some of the other important recommendations, UNESCO suggests that at every stage of a woman's career in science, innovative interventions are required to engage all stakeholders in encouraging, promoting and retaining women in science. To raise awareness, on the significance of women in science, communication campaign can play important role for encouraging and inspiring stakeholders to create gender inclusive environment. Besides actionable suggestions, the book asserts that as much as we need an enabling environment where women can do science efficiently, science needs women to create a sustainable and inclusive future. I believe that women have a certain skill set, uh, such as the ability to multitask, um, compassion, and 
other, other, other skills that make us very um, efficient and effective in making scientific contributions. The reason we need women in everything, including science, is because we women look at the world with a very special lens. The purpose of the UNESCO publication is to push forward the agenda on sustainable development and gender equality and create more engagement for women in science. Having women in science simply means that the humanity will use the entire intellectual potential. Mm -hmm.